Hello everybody, welcome to the Cinepax YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over how you can make these awesome VHS effects just like you see right now in DaVinci Resolve for free. So why don't we jump right into it. Now to get this pack, go on over to Cinepax.com and add the VHS free sample pack to your cart. Then just slide on over to checkout, put in your email, that's where you're going to get the download link, but everything else you can just put in whatever and you'll get your download. Alright guys, once you have the pack downloaded, make sure that you open up the zip file and take all the files that are inside of it, outside of it, that way you can extract everything and actually use them. You can't use them from the zip file, of course. Once you've extracted the zip file, then we can go ahead and start editing. Over here in DaVinci Resolve, just in the media tab, I went ahead and I found all the files that I just unzipped and dragged them into my media pool, so I am ready to edit. So if you guys are following along and getting ready, let's go mess with them. Alright, so this pack includes a variety of different things. We have some cool TV images that we can kind of mess with. Uh, all of the videos are Apple ProRes 4K with alpha channels built in so these are all transparent you can put in your own footage here i'm going to show you how you can layer them and make it look really realistic there's also some still png images in here as well in case the transparency doesn't seem to work in one of your programs in the overlays folder we have a bunch of vhs overlays of static and distortion and there are also some stills in the folders as well there's also this cool aspect ratio overlay let me show you that real quick if i go over to grab some footage here me just scale it up just a little bit so it fits back over in the overlays just drag the aspect ratio right on top and as you can see it's got this cool little TV kind of outline so if we play this through it's just a subtle little kind of outline for you guys overlay to kind of crop and give it a little bit of a stylized feel inside the stills folder you'll also find another aspect ratio template go ahead delete this and if we bring in the four by three aspect ratio, what you gotta do is just go over to the composite mode and change it to darken, and that will go ahead and crop it away for you. And as you can see, you got those nice little aspect ratio bars for your old fashioned four by three TV ratio. What's really cool, we can actually make a really cool realistic like TV effect here. I'm gonna show you right now with all the footage that we have. So let's go over to the opening pack and let's grab the footage of the warehouse and just place it right on top of our stock footage and you can see it's transparent but let's grab our footage open up our transform and just drag it and make it fit inside there pretty well right around there i think looks pretty nice and what you want to do though as you can see old-fashioned televisions they have a little bit of a lens distortion so go over to your inspector lens correction and let's kind of give it a little bit of a negative value here just so it bulges a little bit and will kind of match the curve of the television now to make this fit more realistically go ahead drag this up there's actually a television screen overlay that is included in this pack so just drag that right in between the two sandwich it down and as you can see it fits in there perfectly but what we want to do is click on it and change the composite mode to add and as you can see that will blend with the footage really well and already it's looking really good now once you drag this in you can also click on it take it into the color page um, make sure you have the right one selected in your clips here um, and you can also go over to your primaries and mess with the lift a little bit which will kind of darken the shadows a little bit if you want to bring a little bit more shadow and contrast towards the edges. So I'm just gonna bring down this wheel right here just a little bit, and I think that looks pretty nice. Back over in the edit page, I want to kind of mess with a few more things. Let's bring this up one more layer because I wanna fit another effect in here, which would be our overlays. Let's go ahead and put a little VHS overlay on top of this. So to do this, go ahead, drag it on in. Let's come over here, click on this, shift and left bracket key, all right? And that will trim that down for you. Once you do that, let's grab our transform and scale this down and try to position it over the screen a little bit. Now, just like with the main footage, we warped it, right, with a lens distort. So let's do that exact same thing with the VHS overlay. So click on it, as you can see, I got a few little lines showing here. So I'm gonna go over to our lens correction and I'm gonna drag this down just until the lines sort of line up with the curve of the television. That way it kind of lines up 
and feels more realistic. So as you can see, there we have a nice little bit of a curve. And last but certainly not least, go over to your composite and change it to add. That way it will blend with the footage. Oh, and actually I put this above the television screen. We don't want that. So let's drag that over there and drag this down and just swap the spaces. That way that will blend underneath the television screen. We don't want the opposite there. So if we play that through, I'll go full screen. You can see it looks pretty nice. We could even try this out with, let me delete that. We could mess with one of the busier ones here, drag this in, go over here, shift bracket to chop it down and do the exact same thing. Switch it to add, bring up the lens distortion, shrink it down and make it fit right around there. Really rough here, but if we play that through, now there's even more static. Uh, I wanna add a little bit more to the lens distortion there right around there definitely shrink this down right around there and a little too much distortion right right roughly right there it looks pretty good to me so if we play this through it looks pretty nice i'm happy with that result to wrap everything up let's drag everything over there create a new compound clip and once we do that we can just go ahead and create a little bit and just animate a little bit of a zoom quick tip for you guys don't hand animate any zooms there's a dynamic zoom here in the inspector tab just turn that on and it will automatically create a little bit of a zoom for you all right you can click the swap button to invert them so it moves them around and if you ever want to adjust where it's zooming to and from just click over here on the drop down menu and click dynamic zoom and as you can see it will show you your start your end and wherever you want to create your zoom so you just press that through and as you can see it's zooming into the corner just a quick tip for you guys in case you're still hand animating any of your zooms you don't need to do that. So that just about does it for the TVs. As you can see, there's a few other PNGs that you can do the exact same thing to, exactly same thing as before. And you can put this PNG image wherever you want in whatever environment you want. Just to be extra creative here and really mess around with this pack, why don't we make a cool little transition here? So I'm going to drag in these two clips and I'd like to make a cool little transition here between the two. All right, right now they just cut, not very interesting. So why don't we drag on both of them, switch the scaling to fill, that way they fill our screen. And let's go ahead and grab in our overlays pack, let's grab one of the calm static effects here. So there's not a lot going on there. Let's grab just a few moments of that, click I to get an in and click O to get an out point. That way you just crop it and drag this onto your footage. And let's center it a little bit. And then let's go and get VFX one, which is a lot more busy, it's super static. All right, and let's do the exact same thing there and drag this in. So then in the timeline here, I'm gonna go ahead and center the busy one with the calmer one. So as you can see, if we play this through, we essentially made it so it gets increasingly more static in the center of the transition and then as it gets towards the edges it kind of calms down a little bit and that's what we can do when we blend them together now because the aspect ratios fit a little bit differently i'm going to drag my mouse over these two and i'm going to go to the scaling and i'm going to click stretch that way i stretch them across the whole screen and then of course as usual switch these to add now if we play this through it looks pretty cool just like that however i'd like to add a little bit of a shake effect so it really kind of has a sudden oomph to it. So to do that, let's click on our base footage and go to our effects library and let's look for camera shake. Camera, camera shake. There it is. And drag it onto both of them there. Camera shake is my best friend. Now let's start with the first one here. When we start over here, which is at the start of the VFX overlay, let's go ahead, VHS overlay, sorry. Um, let's go ahead and click on effects and here's our camera shake So I want it to start at a motion scale of zero and a speed scale of zero So I want it to start at zero. So key those two values now as it gets closer to the transition I want the motion scale to go up to about oh, 1.3 ish and the speed scale to go up to about one uh, Let's go to oh, let's go to two so if we play this through, as you can see, it speeds up as the transition continues. Now, to make things shake even more, let's bring the pan amplitude like all the way up to one. That way it goes off screen like crazy. 
and then we can also drag up our motion blur as well so if we play that through there we go we get this really crazy shake playing this through i want to go back over to the front here and i want to bring down my speed scale a little bit i think it's way too shaky so let's have it go just half as slow bring it back down to one and play that through and i think that's a lot better it's not as shaky a little bit too much the first time around now let's do the exact same thing on the second clip so let's go to the end here where we want it to be completely still and key these and bring them all the way down to zero and then go up to the front where we want it to start coming in from the transition and let's bring up our motion scale and the speed scale right around there roughly um, of course bring up our motion blur i'll bring it uh, to like 0.5 this time and bring up the pan amplitude as well and then let's go ahead and play it through and there we go guys we got a cool little cinematic transition there add that to a music video and it'll probably look pretty sick and that about wraps it up for this pack one other thing that we didn't go over too much is the sound effects in here i can just play these through real quick as you can see we got like an eject sound effect if you need to use those for anything we also have like an insert and power stuff like that as well as a rewind and stop so there's plenty to mess around with. This pack is completely free. You can use it in any commercial projects, personal projects, music videos, whatever. If you guys do want to buy the full size pack that is available on cinepacks.com, I have a sample code for you guys. Just type in sample 15 during checkout and that will give you 15% off your order, 15% off. So make sure to use that when you guys do buy the full pack. So I hope you guys enjoy messing around and editing with these. As always, happy editing and peace.